yes? Is it about the head? Look, I'm awfully sorry. I but... am the Grim Reaper. Who? The Grim Reaper. Yes, I see. I am death. Yes, well, the thing is, we've got some people from America for dinner tonight. Who is it, darling? It's a Mr. Death or something. He's come about the reaping. I don't think we need any at the moment. Hello. Do leave him hanging around outside, darling. Ask him in. Darling, I don't think it's quite the moment. Do come in. Come along in. Come and have a drink. Do. Come on. Have a drink. It's one of the little men from the village. Do come in, please. This is Howard Katzenberg from Philadelphia. And his wife, Debbie. Hello there. And these are the Portland Smiles, Jeremy and Fiona. Good evening. This is Mr. Death. Well, do get Mr. Death a drink, darling. Uh, yes. Mm. Mr. Death is a reaper. The Grim Reaper. Hardly surprising in this weather. Yes. <laughs> 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 So you're still a reaper out here, do you, Mr. Death? I am the Grim Reaper. That's about all he says. <laughs> There's your drink, Mr. Death. Do sit down. We were just talking about some of the awful problems facing the third guy. <laughs> Would you prefer white? Uh, I'm afraid we don't have any beer. The Stilton's awfully good. I am not of this world. Good Lord, I am death. Well, isn't that extraordinary? We were just talking about death only five minutes ago. Yes, we were, you know. Whether death is really the end, as my husband uh, Howard here feels, or whether there is, and one so hates to use words like soul or spirit, but... What other words can one use? Exactly. You do not understand. Ah, no. Obviously not. Well, let me just tell you something, Mr. Death. You don't. Just one moment. I'd like to express on behalf of everybody here what a really unique experience this is. Yes, yes. Yes, we're so delighted that you dropped in, Mr. Death. Can I just finish, please? Mr. Death, is there an afterlife? Dear, if you could just wait, please, a moment. Are you please, sure you wouldn't like some sherry? Angela, Angela I'd like you to say this at this time, if I could, please, please, really. Be quiet! Can I just say this at this time, please? Silence! I have come for you. You mean to take you away? That is my purpose. I am dead. Well, that's cast rather a gloom over the evening, hasn't it? I don't see it that way, Jeff. Let me tell you what I think we're dealing with here. A potentially positive learning experience that can enhance. Shut up! Shut up, you American. You always talk, you Americans. You talk and you talk and you say, let me tell you something and I just want to say this. Well, you're dead now, so shut up. Dead? Dead. All of us? All of you. Now, look here. You barge in here quite uninvited, break glasses, and then announce quite casually that we're all dead. Well, I would remind you that you're a guest in this house. And... Oh, oh! Be quiet. Englishman, you're all so fucking pompous. None of you have got any balls. Can I ask you a question? What? How can we all have died at the same time? Salmon moose. Darling, you didn't use canned salmon, did you? I'm most dreadfully embarrassed. Now the time has come. Follow. Follow me. Testing? Sorry. 
follow me now. Fish promised me to have some fresh salmon. He's not so reliable. Can we take our glasses? Mm. Good idea. Oh, good idea. Hey, I can eat the moose.